Oh, looky there. Hey, it's Uncle Joe with Uncle Joe Hikes. We're here at the trailhead for the Bent Mackay at Highway 60. This is the second time it crosses Highway 60, so from here it's going to head over Brawley Mountain and then head over toward uh, Iron Bridge, all of that, Dakota River. Now we're going to Brawley, which has a fire tower on it. We've done this before with my friend Russ and his then girlfriend, now wife, Olivia. And uh, from there we may go out to Rocky Knob. There's an old trail that goes across Rocky Knob and down to a road. I kind of want to do some recon on that, so here we go. Came up there, dumped out on this old road bed. I seem to recall that there's a opening right here. Trail's gonna go on that way. But, and I seem to recall, I did the same thing last time too. I, I walked up here to see what. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't think, I think this cuts out onto the road, which is closed off. But, uh, anyway, just curious. onward splitting off from an old roadbed here continuing on another old roadbed if not the same old roadbed up 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 so I forgot my tracking poles I'm forgetting a lot of stuff lately. <laughs> I'm not forgetting the camera. I'm forgetting the card. If I find this old stick, I'll be looking for something better if I can find it. Every little bit helps, actually, in my opinion. Anyway, we're coming to another point almost exactly like the other one. A little bit of a split. We'll be going... Straight up the hill there, of course. And get over this log first. Here we go. Yes, it's quite a little climb here. So we got to go up here and do a big swing up here to this is Tipton I think here and then we'll run out on that ridge a little ways and then we got a descent and then another ascent up to Brawley well up to a clearing then we'll kind of meander over to Brawley uh, still got a ways to go yet yeah these climbs are not real long but they're kind of steep but uh, we made our way around, so we're making this hook now. So we made it up here to the top, and we're traversing this ridge now. Get out here, and we'll make another hook. Go down to a little gap, and then back up again. So... I was not feeling good on that climb back there. I don't know why, but about 30, 40 yards from the top, I started feeling a lot better. So, who knows? <laughs> a little benchmark. Up here at the summit. Yeah. I thought it was Tipton. That said Tifton. But that could have been referencing the 
town maybe for maybe there's a, a geologic survey maybe headquartered to i don't know but i'll post the correct name of this rise the bottom so i mean i don't forget i think that's going to be looking out toward rich mountain rocky mountain maybe out that way we still make our way across this little ridge here winds really really moving up here you can hear it this ridge we can see out uh, i believe that's looking north so we can see the lake up there it's lake blue ridge there it's a highway manders its way out to blue ridge georgia it gets a little bit of a view out here, which is kind of cool. You don't really get much on this hike, but the leaves down, it's kind of nice. So I was trying to figure out why it's so open. I mean, obviously the leaves are down, but if you look at these trees, they have no tops. And then it's obvious the more you think about it. This was a burn area. And I don't remember if this burn area was here when I came through before, I have to look at the look at that video, but yeah, old old burn area. We don't usually lose a lot of trees with our burns because there's usually so much moisture, but a lot of these trees uh, didn't do well. It may have a lot to do with the type of trees they are, too. I don't know. Windy, 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 though. We can see the Brawley Mountain Fire Tower up yonder way. A little communication tower up there, too. Yeah, we, I'd forgotten we saw that prescribed burn. Uh, sign earlier so that explains why this was burned there may have been some diseased trees i don't know but it ain't definitely burned but yeah we're turning off the trail here just a second come out to this little clearing this is where we took a break before when i did this trail me and the gang sorry if the wind's blowing right in the microphone got some uh like some wild onion growing up here yeah you can tell because you can you can break that off to break that off take a whiff right, wild onion if you're stuck up here and really hungry you can make yourself some onion soup out of that I'm walking out here to the road because there used to be an old set of bleachers around this corner. <laughs> I always wondered what that was about. Maybe somebody knows they can tell us. There it is. The old bleachers. I don't know what kind of thing they had going on up there. It's not a very big area. It's like sawdust in here. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, livestock related I don't know anyway we're gonna have a little bit of a snack maybe here and then head on head on back to the trail proper which is gonna take us out and then around the Raleigh some hikers going that way I don't really know why um, why they're taking the road not the trail but who knows? Maybe they uh, maybe they hiked out at that point to get something and are now hiking back to the point they left. Anyway, we're back on the trail ourselves. Make our way to the tower, which I assume is where they're probably going. See that they clearly use the trail and their controlled burn clearing the leaves back 
giving themselves room to get down in here. May have even brought some four-wheelers or something so they could get equipment. Make sure they establish a, a D-mark and stuff like that, maybe, I don't know. But, we're making use of it. It's kind of nice to have it cleared out a little bit, to be honest. It's getting to be thick weather, so. I'm gonna have to treat my clothes very soon. Spring coming right out of the side of the mountain and heading down. <laughs> really cool. As we head down ourselves, only to go back up again. What goes up must come down, but when you're hiking, it's what goes down must come up. <laughs> It's a little, little chicane right here. Little S switchback. That might be the world's shortest switchback right there. <laughs> Make a little, little skirt here on the at the road. Lead for gap. So so yeah. There's our sign up there. And I hear some talking back over this away. Yeah. So those hikers must have came up the road and just came in here instead of hitting the trail. And they came from back over that way. Back on trail proper. Some kind of camp over there. Don't know what. Not my business. We are getting cloached and cloached. Just came across this runoff here. You can see some little animals come up to the edge probably to get him something to drink we're still making our way around this draw and then that should be our ascent to Raleigh these little climbs are beat me up a little bit this morning and afternoon now <laughs> Spring is trying. There's our blaze, but here's a turn off. I'm beginning to wonder if all of this cleared trail isn't actually a reroute. Let's see. No, there's the tower. Okay. That explains it. Just beginning to wonder. <laughs> Most people elect to turn back there and get on the road. You can see the trail's not beaten out as much here. Probably because it's so steep. <laughs> and it is. Camera won't pick up that, but trust me. That's steep. All right. Brawley Tower. service road here we'll find a place to park it for a minute I don't know if you can see them the wind's kind of kicking them around now but gnats were really bad yeah you can see now you can see around kicking up up here they don't appear to be biting. I don't think they're midges or anything. They're probably way too big to be a midge. Even though they're tiny, a midge is really tiny. So. Anyway, 
we're gonna we're gonna get off this hilltop here. Start making our way down. All right, this came off the tower. There's where everybody beats a path out to the road to take it up there, I guess. But we're heading down this way. So I don't know if you can see it here faintly. It looks like some leaves have actually been turned over. Right there is a faint trail. I don't know if that's humans or if that's animal. It's very hard to tell. There's no feet print here. No footprints here. <laughs> Ain't no feet print there. Uh, I came up here to check the viability of this trail. Um, this thing has not been used in ages. I could see that it'd be hard to follow too. But what it does is it goes down to the next knob and uh, drops about 500 feet to that next knob. And uh, this would be the only time of year you could really do this. My fear is that this is probably not much of a trail anymore, which is kind of kind of a shame. You don't have any blazes or anything. Uh, but I did want to see where it came in and. I kind of had hopes of hiking all the way down to the knob, but uh, it almost looks like somebody trapes through there or something. But it's a long way down there, uh, so I may have to may have to try it from the other side. It comes in off a road, comes up to the knob, and then comes up here. But yeah, it's going to go down. Well, let's walk a little further and just see. Maybe get here right here before it drops and get a better look at what's beyond Something has come down this trail and uh, if I had to guess <laughs> I'd say it was hogs. You can see where they dug in here and stirred up the, the trail I don't think it was people Yeah, you can see here they, they got to this little clearing here probably because of all the acorns and just started rooting around. Just trying to even find the trail from out here because they tear it up so bad. You can't necessarily find it. Looks like it goes here though. Yeah, so not much of a trail. Not much as I'd like to go out there. I'm running out of time and the trail's hard to follow. Those two things, I mean, it's fairly easy at right here, but you don't know what's gonna happen. You can see it drops way down too. I wasn't expecting, for some reason I was expecting to be a traverse, but it drops a good bit, so. Used to be quite a trail. I had a buddy who, uh, unbeknown to me, hiked this one time years ago and put it up on a blog. I wanna say maybe 09. Somewhere in there, and I stumbled across it when I I saw this uh, dotted track on all trails. Started doing research on it, found it was called the I think Rocky Knob Trail, but very little information on it. I think it's a very very old trail, and uh, ran across his blog, and uh, he documented some of it and had some pictures but I think the truth is I'm not gonna have time to get down there and then back and then it looks like that there's not much of a not much of a trail left you don't expect a whole lot you know because of fall on the leaves and all of that um, but I did kind of expect it to be beaten out a little bit or at least uh, maybe a a double track or something but anyway I don't think that's gonna be done by anyone too soon which is kind of a shame it'd be nice to have another trail 
but uh I think it could follow it. It just takes some time. I don't really have right now. What are you gonna do? You gonna climb back up that? What you gonna do? So yeah, that's the old Rocky Knob Trail. Not much to it, I'm afraid. I was really hoping to have the time, A, to hike out the Rocky Knob, and B, have a little bit more of a trail. But if you wanna come and try this yourself though, as soon as you come up and pass that that tree, that slingshot tree there, be looking on your right. And you should find it. So I just met a couple of hikers going up Brawley. They're gonna take the road back. So uh told them depending on how I feel going up the back up the climbs. I might be on the road myself, but hopefully not. I'd rather just hike on. It's not that far. It's just that this is, there's some beefy stuff in here. Not huge, because none of these, you know, the tower's only 3,000, and I think Tipton up here is only 3,100. So, but that doesn't matter. I mean, 500 feet is 500 feet. You know, we're kind of doing these 500 foot drops and climbs. So, that's why it is. <laughs> there we go. Wind's really cooking, sorry about that. Woo! But you can't help but look out there, there and see them gnats. It's really warm today. It's, it's real close to 70. It's showing 69 and such as I'm a little bit down the road from there, but it's it's gotta be it's gotta be over 70. Here's our turn off to the onion patch. We uh, got a couple hundred feet here to climb. Get back on the back side of the ridge up to Tipton. It's more or less all downhill from there. Back at our side slope here. We're getting down into this uh, mossy area. There's a lot of moss on the rocks and so forth. Um, it's kind of a different, different, you know, look to it and vibe. So a lot of this privet down here, these little thickets, and I believe that to be privet. It's invasive. Uh, you know, sometimes it'll get, as you can see out through there, and that's nice. That's actually. I've seen it a whole lot thicker than that. I've seen it thick as hair on a dog's back. Well, my stick lasted to right here. I think I just stumbled on it or kicked it or something and it snapped. So just in time, we're in the right place, I guess. Anyway, we're back here at the Gap Highway. There's old Gobi. We're back at the highway. Yeah, both ways. A little windy here at the gap. There's old Gobi waiting patiently. Hopefully nobody broke in. I got my silly putty. It's tomorrow's Sunday. That means Sunday funnies. And I can rain through my silly putty. Of course I gotta go to the bathroom and look at it in the mirror. Just read it off the paper. Anyway, all right. I get the truck. Raleigh Mountain's done. We've been there before, but I really wanted to go up and have a look at that Rocky Knob Trail and see if there was anything there that could be usable. It's pretty covered up. Um, maybe the other end might be worth a look. So maybe another time when we're up here near Blue Ridge, we'll drive around that road. And see if we can find where it goes in but I got a feeling that trail is probably lost uh, you know it kind of is what it is looks like the hogs something had been up and down it and I'm thinking probably hogs but I'm not sure the hogs would have came all the way up to the Benton Mackay but who knows anyway let's get out of here find something to eat